pretty intimidating to be honest but I'm up for a challenge Okay, this is the trailhead 1831 meters high peak in Croatia I think that's Fortress Glavash ahead of us Alright, it's time to start It was occupied from 15th to 17th century and it was defending Dalmatia from Ottomans. Impressive. So I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a pretty demanding trail. It's pretty steep. And apparently pretty long too. 10 kilometers one way. I'm up for the challenge. It's not hot. It's not warm at all. It's not windy. It's not cold. It's perfect weather for this type of hike. But now it's end of March. I didn't realize there are two ways to get there. So I guess I'm just gonna have to pick one. Oh well. I'll go this way. How about this view guys? I think it's gonna get even better at the top. Over there is a Perusko Yezero. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a there's some remnants of snow up there. I'm surprised it didn't melt because it's quite warm. Okay, let's keep going. We're not doing this justice, but it's so beautiful. I am just blown away. And literally too, it's pretty windy. I still have a long way to go, probably another two, three hours. Two hours, my guess. I'll keep pushing. I have pretty st steep climb in front of me. But this mountain range is just magnificent. It's beautiful. It's a little discouraging to find out 
that there's another peak even higher peak than the one that you just climbed but don't get discouraged keep pushing <laughs> it's tiresome it's physically challenging I can feel the attitude getting a little headache but I'm gonna make it I can feel it I know I'm gonna make it okay so this much, this much snow I didn't expect <coughs> this is completely surprising and slowed down slowed me down significantly actually but I gotta keep pressing see how far I can get uh, I'm actually thinking about turning back because I think I can make it to the top if it continues like this for, for a long way we'll see I'll keep pushing imagine this to be a glacier lake long time ago it probably was it's dry now I wouldn't be surprised if there's water down there somewhere. What a beautiful view. This is just special. I did not expect this much snow. This is a huge surprise to me. I should have thought of it. 1800 meters is pretty high. So snow should be expected this time of the year. I can see the peak. I have another mile or so, two, three kilometers. Is that little red building on top of the mountain? I think that's the peak. But look at this view. Isn't this something special? Isn't this amazing? I'm so glad that I came. So happy and blessed to be here. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Looks like Bosnia and Herzegovina is very close. Oh my gosh. Still have another half an hour to get to the peak. Signal the peak of Dinarda. Peak of Croatia. I'm almost there. Here you go. Top of Croatia. Signal. I really accomplished something today. Climbed the highest peak in Croatia, and very few people did that. And uh, I'm quite, quite proud of it. It's not the best time to hike on this mountain because there's a lot of snow. It's slippery. It's muddy. But I made it, and this view was absolutely worth it. Enjoy it.
I'm sure the mountains on the other side are in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Evo, ovo su moji novi prijatelji Sinjanini. Kako se zovete? Dovo. Ja sam Ivan. Ivan. Dago mi je. Marjan dali smo zajedno na vrh Sinjala, na Dinari, na vrh Hrvatske. I didn't take the same route back. Guys from Sin recommended this route and it's definitely much better because there's no snow, there's no mud, there's no slippery ice. It's much safer and uh, thank you guys if you're watching this video. I really appreciate it. You made my day. You know, nature, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to be in nature, but on top of that, to meet such a nice people, you know, and generous people, they offered me homemade smoked ham and homemade wine. Oh my gosh, that's the best meal I had in a long, long time. Thank you guys. I hope I can return the favor one day. But look at this. Look at this. I'm not sure if you can see the scale of this, but this mountain range is huge. And this ravine is pretty deep. Yeah, we don't want to make mistake here. <laughs> one, one slip and it's over. <clears throat> Maybe helicopter could come for the rescue, but even that it's iffy with, with a high wind. Actually, this is not a smart thing to do, to hike by yourself better to actually have someone with you just in case just in case something happens you never know but those guys from scene are right behind me so yeah I feel safe so that's the top of Dinara Sinyal and this is the glacier canyon and I passed it on the other side on the way up but this side is much much better it's much safer because there's no snow but look at the view I think the view it's actually better from this side <coughs> what an adventure go out and do things while you still can because you're making memories with these adventures with these hikes with these travels and that's what sticks that's what's important the memories nothing else What a view, guys, huh? What a view. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here. Wonderful. <laughs> Camera can do justice. This ravine is so deep, it's scary. I don't think I want to get near. <laughs> I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. It's a little windy, I apologize about the wind noise, but I hope the view makes up for it. 
Okay, so this is a mountain shelter. We still have two and a half hours to a parking spot. Dobar dan. Dobro malo hladno večeras. Hej, pa dobro, spremi se. Smo vi sredili jutro si? Da, da, na jutro si. Bravo. Od, vi ste radili krug preko košara ili? Da, onaj. Aha, druga Na drugoj strani, ali to je bila velika greška, ali ima dosta snijega. Snijeg, tako je, da, da, da. Upala mi je noga dobro. Da, ali ovo mi je prvi put, nisam ti joj stati ono, pa se to odluči, a ići ćemo idemo do kraja. This is the trail that I took this morning up the mountain. I wish I didn't. I wish I took this trail. Okay, this is interesting. Some bones. So, it's definitely some animals. Some animal dwelling. Okay, we can definitely feel that this place, this cave is special. It was home for probably many different animals and even humans. So I wouldn't be surprised. Kind of hard to see coming up, but coming down, it's it's obvious. So I had to stop and explore it a little bit. Okay, on the way down again, again, I'm passing by Fortress Glavash. Again, it was used in 15th to 17th century to defend from Ottoman, Ottoman Empire. But I do believe Ottomans did eventually capture it. But these remnants are still impressive just absolutely amazing including this sunset <laughs> Well, that will conclude today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed this hike with me. I'm absolutely amazed with the beauty of this country with the beauty of this mountainous range dinner it's just absolutely gorgeous and I definitely want to come back but let me warn you it is physically demanding I'm quite tired now uh, pack lightly take plenty of water and uh, don't go in the winter avoid snow if you can that really slowed me down on the way up but if I if I took the other route the western trail towards the summit i think that would have been much much easier but either way it worked out uh, so both trails took a lot of nice pictures a lot of nice video i hope you guys are going to enjoy it if you do enjoy it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below and i'll see you in the next video